Hello and welcome to part four of this series of videos how to make a public Shopify application. On part four, we're gonna talk about how we can save our token because on part three, we were able to authenticate the call and as part two, explain how to get the token. So now once I get the token for this specific shop, I wanna make sure I save it. So the next time the customer comes in, I already have it. I can check if I have a token for that shop. And we're just gonna cover that, how to save that to the database. So I have a local database, uh, Excel, SQL Express. Whoops, come back here. As you can see, I don't have any database. So I'm gonna click new database, right click new database. And you can name your database anything you want. I'm just gonna call it fulfillment uh, DB anything will work click OK and now we have our database here we have no tables obviously so now right click uh, table and we're gonna start typing here so I'm gonna say row ID this is gonna be my primary key so I'm gonna move this up a little bit go under column properties um, Oops, click in the wrong place. So column properties, uh, identity specification, click, double click it to make it yes. And identity increment one, exceed identity C one. Obviously you can change this, but I always leave it as one. And then on this column, I'm gonna right click and set primary key. And now I'm going to be saving our shop. That's gonna be the shop name. I'm just gonna say 200, I don't know. It cannot be no, I have to have a shop name. And I'm gonna ha say here token, this is gonna be the token. And bar char, I'll say, I don't know. I don't think it's that long, so 200. So I'm gonna leave the one, this one alone, notes because uh, what happens if the customer uh, did not authorize the the token so in my, I might have a no here so just in case I'll leave it as allow no's and then here I'm gonna say install date so I can keep track when they installed it install date and maybe I can have uh, on install date maybe when they deleted it I want to make sure in the future we're gonna cover that and then shop token install date uninstall date I think that's the one we're gonna we're gonna finish on that maybe I can say here trial I'll just leave it like that for now and I'm gonna click save now. So I'm gonna click, well, we need to name this. So I'm gonna say customers, or just say shop uh, tokens. Let's leave it like that. Click OK, now we have a table, nice. So we have our shop here, or table. Okay, so now we can go ahead and save these values in our database. So in Visual Studio now, we're gonna go back here to one of these folders where I have tools. I'll just make another folder. Uh, add folder, I'll call data. You can name it anything you want. I'll add a new item and I'll go to data entity data model I'm gonna call this uh, anything you want fulfillment uh, model or something DB fulfillment DB model or something like that and we're gonna use the from database uh, we'll need our connection here so a new connection Uh, hello. Okay.
okay we got the pop-up now we're gonna say actually this drop down will give us the local uh, machine that we have test the connection Looks like uh, we have an error. So, okay, so I think this connection was not working with just the computer name. So, the easiest way to figure out the problem was for me that just specified the whole thing desktop, blah blah blah, slash SQL Express, and that seemed to work because I can see now the database. So that's it. I'm using Windows authentication because I'm on local computer. But depending on how you set up your local connection or SQL Express, you might need to change this to another option. So for testing, this is nice. So I'm going to click OK and blah, blah, blah. That's correct. And click Next. And we should see our table here shop token click finish now we have our entity model here we got all the reference added I'm gonna close that out close this out and now we have how we can save it so I'm gonna close this I'm not gonna use this so all this so now I'm gonna create here a private uh, void I'm not gonna return anything I will just say save shop uh, token and I'm gonna say shop and string token and here we're going to be using the using statement and I'm going to say new I think we called it fulfillment well we're going to have a problem here we need to add the namespace so we're going to say using uh, Shopify file and that data okay now we should be able to say fulfillment DB entities Okay, so that's our connection and this will make sure that we close the connection once we're done so here we're just adding a shop a token record but we also need to know if if this is a new shop so we're gonna say if uh, shop token if we have any any of this shop equals that if we have the shop already uh, that means we need to update. update else uh, new shop so we're gonna start with this if we if it's a new then we're gonna just say um, con shop that add and here we're gonna pass in the object and initialize it here and we just say shop equals shop and token equals token and the last things we can leave it no but in this case install day we'll say uh, daytime that now and the other ones would just leave it no we don't have to even add it there so click that and now depending on what happens we're gonna say our connection you know saves 
changes and then we're done so now here if we go back up here for now we're just gonna say say shop token and we're gonna pass shop and our well it says here access we can rename that uh, we can just say access token yeah that will make more sense and save it and then we'll leave space in there because in the next video on um, part five we're gonna talk about how we can create a webhook and I'll explain that on the next video but for right now I'm just gonna run this and see if it actually works and go back here if you can see on this demo shop I don't have the, sh the app yet I deleted it so I'm gonna install it again so I'm gonna go back to the link that I created on previously just gonna wait for this guy okay that's done so I'm gonna back, go back here and install the amp on my demo shop gonna log in and I think I did something wrong again so uh, this is the problem with using this um, with using the free version of this tunnel because it's using the old tunnels you can see right now I have 95A that's a new so I'm gonna go back on this one and I gotta go and update edit app settings and scroll down and well it's alright I updated correctly I'll just save changes uh, so there must be another place where I'm setting the wrong field it must be here yep it's this one the amp URL from the web settings is bad so I need to go and update it so for right now since we're just testing I'm gonna pause this and I'm just gonna set it this way at least so uh, you guys can see what I'm doing because I have to keep going to the web config so I'm just gonna update this to that and hit save and run it again but in your case it's better if you keep that uh, setting on your web config it's much easier but for testing you can just do it the same way I'm doing it so I'm gonna do the same thing wait for this guy Okay, done. So I'm gonna go back here, install it, log into the demo shop. Okay, now I'm back here. Then I'm gonna install it. So now we should see this. Once I hit install, we're gonna hit this this part here, and then we're gonna save it down there. So we should see that one hit, and then save. So install the app. Uh oh got a problem it says the best overload for matching blah, 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 has invalid arguments so what's the problem so let's see what happened here string string might be the access token is not set up correctly so that's okay I guess the dynamic is not making it to a string so what I'm gonna do, go do again is uh, let me see I'm gonna refresh the shop and delete it delete the installation delete uh, this one let me see I'm over here I'm gonna go back to that link uh, right here right here and in here what I'm gonna do is This is a dynamic field, so 
So what I'm gonna do is see if I can cast this guy. If it doesn't work, we'll figure it out. Run this guy again. Should be good to go. So as you can see now, um, that dynamic um, style of converting or deserializing, it's okay. Uh, not always, but in this case, it's just one field that we need. So as you can see, I just cast that value into a string. And now the function took it. Now we're done here. So now I'm going to click continue. Well, I'm going to put a breakpoint here because it's going to go back there. Click continue. Now, so f at this point, we should have saved our token. And right here, after doing all the logic stuff that we need to, we can send the customer or the client somewhere else. As you can see here, it's just waiting. And if I click continue, it's just going to error out because we don't have anything set up. So I'm going to check the database, refresh. As you can see, we have a our shop, our token, the installation day, and then we'll work on this one on a different video. But the whole point of this video is to how to save your token into the database by shop and knowing when it was the installed. So if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer, uh, have an answer for your questions. And I'll post this uh, function here, method, to the GitHub page so you can guys uh, see it and see how I did it. Obviously it's not for production going live because there's a lot of things you can do here in between depending on what you need but this is a general idea what needs to be or needs to be done or needs to happen. Thank you for watching.